वेलकम बैक लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू प्रॉब्लम दैट इज सिक्स डैश फोर जीरो सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम्स फॉर द सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम एंड देर आर टू पॉइंट लोड्स ऑफ टेन किलो न्यूटन्स एंड दैट इज एक्टिंग वन इज एक्टिंग एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर एंड द अदर वन इज एक्टिंग एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर मीटर फ्राम पॉइंट ए and there is external moment of 15 kN into meter so due to load we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so again the first step is that you if you remove this support pin support at point a so definitely you will have a reaction force let this is a y and if you remove this roller support so again there will be a vertical force and this reaction forces are unknown so we will find them by using equation of equilibrium so what are the equations of equilibrium so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so first moment due to Uh, about point a is 10 into perpendicular distance is 2 and this is with clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is due to again this 10 kilo newton now the perpendicular distance is 4 third moment is due to this by and perpendicular distance is 6 and this will be clock counter clockwise plus there is external moment that is clockwise so it will be negative their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write it this 15 kilo newton into meter that is clockwise so i will write it minus 15 minus 10 this one into perpendicular distance is 4 and it is producing clockwise so i will write 10 into minus 4 minus 10 into perpendicular distance is now 2 this one and it is also producing clockwise clear plus by into perpendicular distance is 61 and this is producing counter clockwise so that that's why it's positive so minus 15 minus 40 minus 20 plus 6 by is equal to 0 so minus 75 plus 6 by is equal to 0 so again from here you will get by is equal to 75 by 6 which is 12.5 kilo newton so this is by now you can find ay by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 now you can see this one force is upward so ay plus by minus 10 and minus 10 their sum must be equal to 0 so we will write ay plus by is 12.5 minus 10 minus 10 is equal to 0 so from here you will get ay is equal to 7.5 kilo newton now you have both these forces you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram i will represent the force over here this is ay which is 7.5 kN this is by which is 12.5 kN and we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i have to draw the vertical lines from the end of this beam and then a horizontal line over the length of for the length of beam let this point is this distance is 2 this distance is 2 meter this is 4 meter and total is 6 meter x will be in meter we have a shear force in kilo newton let each box is of 3 so 3 6 3 newton kilo and 6 and 9 similarly minus 
minus 6, minus 9, minus 12 and so on. So first we will draw the shear force again. You can see that at point A you have 7.5 kN. So at X is equal to zero shear force is 7.5 kN. So this is 6. So 7.5 will be this point. This will be the point. Again moving from A to B there is no other force. So this 7.5 will remain same till this point. So I will draw a horizontal line till this point. This is 7.5. Now you can see there is a load of 10 kN acting on it. So 7.5 minus 10 because the force is downward will bring it to minus 2.5. So minus 2.5 will be somewhere here. I have to remove this two. So let this is two point five minus two point five minus two point five. So shear force will suddenly change to minus two point five. Okay. Again, you can see that moving from this to this, there is no other force. So, shear force will remain same. Minus 2.5. So, it will remain same till this end. And now at this point, you have a 10 kN that is downward. So, minus 2.5 and minus 10 will be equal to minus 12.5. So, minus 12.5 will be somewhere here this will be the let this is the point so shear force will change to minus 12.5 this is minus 12.5 kilonewton and again moving from this point there is no other force so it will remain same so it will remain horizontal and you can see at the end you have plus 12.5 so which proves that you are going in wrong uh, in correct direction so again it will move at this point so shear this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram you have to draw a horizontal line here we will plot the moment that will be into kilo newton into meter so your first point at x is equal to zero moment will be equal to zero now you can see this area which is rectangular so its area will be 7.5 into width which is 2 meter so it will be 15 clear and since this is positive and shear force is a horizontal line so first we will plot let each division is 5 so 10 and 15 so 15 will be somewhere here since this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so movement will be one degree higher and it will be straight line with positive slope with upward slope so this is 15 kilonewton into meter now the second area is this one you can see this is also square and it will be equal to minus 2.5 into 2 which will be minus 5 so plus 15 minus 5 will bring to 10 kN at, at this length. Clear? So we'll plot 10. So 10 is this one. So at this point we have 10. Again the slope will be decreasing because you can see that shear force is area of shear force is negative and this is a horizontal line with zero degrees. So the movement equation will, will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing. So this is your 10 kN. And the third area is this one. You can see this is the area which is equal to 12.5 minus 12.5 into 2 which is 25 minus 25. So plus 10 minus 25 will be equal to minus 15. So at the end we will have minus 15. So this is minus 5, minus 10, minus 15. So this will be the 
point now you can see this is a horizontal line with zero degree so movement will be straight line of with one degree and the slope will be decreasing because this area is negative so we'll join these two points it will be a straight line this is minus 15 and at the end you can see that there is a 15 kilo newton into meter and whenever we have external movement that is in clockwise so definitely in while drawing bending movement it will go upward and this will bring it to zero so this was all about uh, drawing the shear force and movement diagram for this uh, loading for simply supported beam i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest videos and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and your support for my channel